Now that you know how to win a game with Checkmate, it's time to move on to see how a game of chess might also end. Today's word is stalemate, which sounds a lot like checkmate, but I assure you there's a huge difference. Stalemate is when it's your turn, you're not in check, and you can't move anywhere. What would that look like in a game? Well, take a look at your chessboard here. Let's pretend that white gets greedy and starts capturing all of black's pieces and insists on capturing this measly little pawn. Chess kids do this all the time. They get ahead in the game and they just keep trying to eat more and more and more. Well, you know what happens in real life. You just end up getting fat, right? Mm -hmm. Well, in this chess game, you're going to see why eating more is not going to work out. Kind of like that girl from Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory. When the queen captures the pawn, it's black's turn. Now, I know there's a lot of white pieces near his king, but is he actually in danger? Hmm. I would say no. Yippee! The queen can't quite get to him. The knight can't quite get to him. The rook can't quite get to him. And of course, kings can never touch each other because of the stinky breath problem. So black is not in check. But he also can't move anywhere. His king can't move here. Stinky breath. He can't move here. Triple trouble. And he can't move here because of the queen or the rook. Does he have anything else to move? Yeah, he's got one pawn left, but this pawn can't move anywhere, since when a pawn is being blockaded, it's stuck. So in this chess position, we have a stalemate. Black is on move, he's not in check, and he can't move anywhere. Now comes the real shocking truth. A stalemate is actually a tie. A fancy word for tie in chess is draw. So stalemate is a type of a draw. I know it might not seem fair that white has all these extra pieces, and yet the game ends in a draw, but hey kids, Fun Master Mike didn't write the rule book, okay? In this position, black survived by simply not giving up. This is why you don't want to give up in a chess game. You might actually end up getting a stalemate. Let's go back and see perhaps what could white have done to avoid the stalemate. Well, actually, pretty much any other move is good for white. White actually has a checkmate. If the rook travels all the way up to g8, the king can't capture because of the knight, and he can't move to these two squares because of the king, that would be checkmate. Let me ask you a different question, though. What if the rook travels all the way up and stops on g7? Is this position a check? A checkmate? A stalemate? Pause your video, see if you can figure it out. Well, it's time for me to apologize, chess kids. It's actually none of the above. It's not check because rooks don't go diagonal. It can't be checkmate if it's not check. That wouldn't make any sense. It's also not stalemate. I want to explain the reasoning. I know black's king can't move anywhere, but his pawn can. And as long as black can move something, it doesn't have to be his king, as long as he can move some other chess piece, the game continues. Now, if black advances this pawn, would a smart move for white be to capture the pawn? What do you think? No, that wouldn't be so smart. If you capture the pawn, it would be stalemate. Black would have nowhere to move. If you move this knight somewhere, let's just say to the square c6, this would also be stalemate, since black cannot move his pawn nor his king. Now, if you'd move the knight to the square g6, that would be checkmate. What's the difference? Well, the king is actually in danger. That's the difference. So checkmate is when your king's in danger and can't do C, P, or R, capture, protect, run away. Stalemate is when you're not in check and you can't move anything. You are king to any safe square or any other chess piece. What would be an additional checkmate here? Actually, white has lots of options. Rook to H7 is checkmate. The king can't run away here because the knight is helping out. Another checkmate that I see is queen to B8. The king's in danger, and I don't see a way to do C, P, or R. Oh, so the big no. lesson, chess kids, when you get a lead in the chess game, especially near the end, don't think that the goal is to capture every last piece of your opponent. That would be greedy. You'll turn out to be just a fat, fat chess player. What you want to be is a smart chess player. You want to, at some point, use those extra pieces to go after the black king. Remember, if you put black's king in danger, it can't possibly be stalemate. So, when in doubt, at least give check to the king. It check. can't possibly be a stalemate if you at least give check. And also remember, if you're the losing side, don't give up, because your opponent might make a massive mistake, like queen takes pawn. And even though you only have a king and a pawn left, 
you would actually get a tie. That's where chess is much cooler than some other sports. If you're down 30 points in a basketball game, you don't have much hope. But if you're down a whole bunch of pieces in a chess game, you never know. Your opponent could put you in a stalemate.